Hello! So I've decided to try and do a little um, video on designing a level. Because um, I've done some levels before, not that I've uh, shown on my channel um, some levels that I've done, but uh, I have designed some levels before. So I thought I'd have a go at um, showing that off here. So I've, I've got a very simple um, thing to start off with. We have a diamond, a crown, transporter, which you don't need to actually do the whole level, but uh, just to make sure I know how the transporters work before I started doing this, and a time bomb. And this next level we can't actually complete because we haven't got anything in place, including a time bomb. So that's not very actually helpful to us at all. But I'm running um, actually around the world uh, here because what you can do is tap break and it flips to the editor. So, what we're going to do is we're going to load up my um, game. Hang on. Am I in the thing? No. Why can't I control this? Hang on. Try this again. Are we ready? There we go. For some reason that didn't work. Anyway, so let's load what I've got. Call it test, of course. <clears throat> and I should be able to... Oh, sorry, I tried to use my... Uh, actual computer mouse for that, which is not going to work. Oh yeah, I need to click on this, and there we go. So this is the first map here. We could change the different ones by going through here, but you know, I've only got this uh, one little test up here to start off with. And so, I design the levels and people might wonder, you know, how do you go about designing a level? What I normally do is put Repton down, and then, like, do something. Like, let's build a wall around Repton. Now obviously at the moment if we just build a wall around Repton and that we're not really going to be able to do very much and it's not going to be a very interesting level. So what we can do is try to add something more interesting to it like say if we do some other walls going off here and here. I'm not worrying about getting this symmetrical or anything at the moment it's just kind of messing around and seeing what actually would work. In fact let's not do it symmetrical let's kind of do this and let's get rid of this here and instead of having the one kind of going up the middle there, let's have it going off the side here. Let's make it a bit asymmetrical, let's make it a bit interesting looking and oh why not, let's make a little corridor here because you know corridors are fun aren't they? aren't they? Um, so there we go, let's make some other kind of things here. Um, I kind of kind of like the way this is looking, let's do this. Actually I've had a thought, let's do this here. So we've got some interesting areas here. Now what do you think, what do we want to do? Um, well we want to think about how do we want to go between these areas. So let's go from here to here Let's then say, oh, you can come through here instead, um, up through here, out through here, and then maybe like the, the middle of here is the way you can go through here. This area is the, can be accessed through a transporter, which oh, let's make it interesting. Let's put it here. Let's transport to there. Um, still haven't got a time bomb, so uh, oof, I wouldn't make a time bomb. Let's put a time bomb. Now, are we going to make this at a nasty level or not? <laughs> Important question here, because if we put the time bomb in here, this means that when we go through here, we get to this area, and we can collect the time bomb, but if we don't put another transport going out or any other way, other way out, then that means, you know, we've just basically created a, created a transporter trap, and that could be a little bit mean. I mean, it's the kind of thing you can do in your levels, and you know, once people know where the transporters lead, it's not a big problem, but it can be a little bit of a ha-ha surprise on uh, somebody's first playthroughs of a level. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a transporter, hmm, let's put it down here, why not? Um, also, we probably need a crown. Let's put the crown in here, in this area here. Let's... Um, Let's put it in the middle bottom. Oh, well, let's put it off to the side there, because that's where I put it. <laughs> okay, so now, what we want to think about... I mean, we can actually complete this level if we wanted to. We could play it, we could complete... Let's actually do that, just, just to get a feel for the, the space that we're working in here. So let's save this. It's called Test. We're quite okay saving over Test. It doesn't ask us. 
um, yeah, it would, it would be nice if it asked us, but whatever. This is an old computer game, it doesn't have to ask us. We need to load, test, and once it's loaded, we can play it. And okay, here we go. So we can, well, what I kind of realize here right at the moment, I'll put the transporter going into the area so I can get the uh, crown, but I haven't put a transporter going out of the area. Okay, so we need to amend that. So we can come through here. Come up here, the space seems quite quite a nice space. And then we can come through this here, and then once we've done everything, we can get the time bomb. But we haven't got the uh, crown, so that's not actually going to help us. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, this is the very bare bones of a level at the moment. And yeah, it's doing this thing again where I don't have my pointer. Let's try and switch out and switch in. Do I have my pointer this time? I'm not quite sure why it's doing that, but uh, it, it, going back and forth this way is a little bit easier than um, just, you know, reloading the whole ga uh, game again, uh, which is thankfully the master version of Rocks on Around the World lets us do this. Uh, so, go back to this here. So we have this, and we, we need to arrange it so that we can actually get out. Um, Let's be nice, why don't we? Let's put this rock here, put a bit of dirt under the rock, and let's, well actually we need to probably put another bit of dirt there, and make a hole through here. So what we can do, we can go in the transporter, go into this area, and then get the crown and go out here, and if we happen to forget something in this area, we can always go back through this little hole to... Uh, Get whatever you missed and let's make this look a little bit neater and nicer and prettier I mean, maybe doing other things to the level later on um, so we may need to change things around but yeah we can do something to make it look a little bit nicer there um, mm, I'm just having a think actually let me do this because I can and it makes it interesting okay and um, no let's have one of these here just 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 cuz you know it's fun um, so now what we really have to think about is the level of difficulty that we want for this level here so do you want it to be an easy level do you want it to be a hard level normally I create hard levels because just like oh what could I do let's do this which is like a complicated little thing, but uh, no. What we can do, really, an interesting thing I think, is to put a cage right here, and then mm, actually let's just leave it like that because that's quite interesting. Um, obviously, saying things which you don't know quite what I am meaning, but let's just do all this. Let us. Ooh. Okay, so we can do something interesting with the flow of this level. Hmm. Hmm. And let's do this. That's 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 uh, a good one. And let's put this in front of here. And I don't know which is the best way to put these spirits around. If I put one here and one here, will they stick to the walls? That's an interesting thing to find out. So, we want something a bit interesting in this little starting area, so that it's not quite just as, as simple as it looks here. Uh, ooh, let's put this here. Put a few diamonds in as well. Um, actually, the way I've set this up, this is kind of interesting. Um, ooh, yeah, let's do this. Just, just to scare them, you know, flanked either side by uh, boulders, and we've got a um, skull underneath us, and ooh, hmm, no, I can't do that if I do that. In fact, let me do that. That's interesting. Um, can well, that actually kind of slightly turns it into a slightly harder level. I think the way it is right at the moment, because you've got to do something with those boulders to start off with, haven't you? Um, should we make it an easy level, hard level? 
I'm, I'm not really an expert at making easy levels because I haven't really tried making easy levels. I just think, ooh, what would be the most interesting thing to do in this situation? So what I'll do actually is try, push myself to try and make mm, an easy level. Let me do it this way around and make it try and make it look a bit pretty and put in that there okay so this is interesting this is doable let's just mm, mm, no that's that's fine let's just leave it at this at the moment and let me save this test and when that's done switch out of it load up test I press enter there we go and let's see how this goes so I can grab these but I don't kind of want to grab that one because I need to get in here and also do something about this egg so going through here and up here and here there could be something more interesting in here than what there is grab this and yeah, watch out for the uh, spirits we both come around there go out here clear that space of course, this spirit can now go through there and take a bit of a time to go around, so mm, maybe something can do to. Uh, eh, it doesn't take too long to go around. That's okay, that's fine. Um, okay, now, so grab that for safety there and drop this out, drop that down on it. Excellent, and go out here. And yeah, of course, the rest of the level hasn't been uh, sorted out yet, but. Uh, we can get to that, can't we? So then we go to the bomb. Okay, so fairly simple level to start off with. Let's just have a quick uh, look over it. If our pointer appears, no, nope, pointer didn't appear. Let's go out and back in again. I don't know what's up with that. Um, oh no, pointer still disappeared. Oh my. Try and see if we get our pointer back. Come on, pointer. No, nope, pointer doesn't want to come back. So basically what we've got then is our level, which we will look at this way instead. And then look at this here. Okay, so that's it as it is at the moment. A lot more needs to be done to actually make it like an interesting level. Um, but, uh, you know, if this was interesting at all, if this was... a uh, a good insight in how to create a level and all that, let me know. Um, I might just do some more anyway, because, you know, I fancy doing it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, for now, that is where our level is being left off for the moment. See you next time.